Hello there, my name is Carl, I'm a recruitment consultant for Cube Learning and I'm here today to give you some quick tips on how to improve your video interview skills. I'm going to go through preparation, surroundings, dress code and during the interview. So tip number one, surroundings. You need to make sure you find a nice quiet area of the house where you're not going to get any distractions from parents, siblings or pets. Maybe find a room that isn't going to get people walking through it either like a living room or a kitchen for example. Make sure you can rest the laptop on a nice flat and stable surface and make sure you can sit comfortably in front of it where you can sit up straight. Lastly, you need to make sure you have a neutral background behind you. This may seem obvious, but if you're going to have your interview in a bedroom, for example, you need to make sure you don't have any posters or anything up and in view that could cause offence to the employer. So tip number two, preparation. Like for any interview, make sure you revise the job description and do a bit of research on the company's website about their products and services. But for this segment, I want to talk to you about how to specifically prepare for a video interview, as this is very different to a face-to-face -face one. So firstly, have a pen and paper for note-taking. The employer may have said something that you don't quite understand. So you can write this down and ask about it at the end of the interview when they ask you if you've got any questions. Also, have your CV at the other side of your laptop or computer. You can use this as a reference point when the employer asks you about your education or about your work history. But most importantly, you need to do a bit of preparation with your laptop itself. You need to make sure that the audio is working correctly with the laptop sound and your webcam is working properly for the vision. You don't want any of them going wrong when you're in the middle of the interview. Nextly is internet stability. If you don't have the best internet, that's not a problem. Just make sure that no one else in the house is using the internet while you're on the interview. You don't want anything lagging or anything going wrong during that as well. Lastly, make sure you close any unnecessary tabs or apps that you have open at the same time. You don't want any of them popping up and distracting you during the interview or making any sounds for you. So tip number three, dress professionally. This may seem like common sense for a face-to-face -face interview, but it's important to get it right for a video interview as well. Especially if you've never had a video interview before, you may not be sure about the dress code for one. So you need to be wearing a suit for a video interview, just maybe not the blazer. You don't want to make yourself too hot or uncomfortable. The employer will be understanding of this anyway. They'll probably just be wearing the same as you, just shirt, tie, like what I'm wearing. Lastly, don't fall into the trap of they'll only see my top half, so I'll wear shorts or trackies below. It's too much of an unnecessary risk and you might have to change location or fetch something for the interview. So whatever you do, don't do that. So my last tip is for during the interview. So this is all about making sure that you get your same positive energy across to the employer the same way as you would do for a normal face-to-face -face interview. So the first thing you need to do is to demonstrate good body language. You can do this by sitting up straight, Hands resting together on the table or however comfortable you feel, just maybe don't put them in your pocket. And making sure that you're facing directly towards your webcam. Next is eye contact. The employer will clearly be able to see when you're not making eye contact with them. If you're constantly looking down or away from the screen, they'll know you're not looking at them and it will come across as that you're not interested. Finally, remember to use hand gestures when talking and to nod and smile when listening, when appropriately of course. Well, that's it from me. I hope you found this information useful. Good luck.